Hello, everybody, and welcome to Tides of Death. How are you guys doing today? Doing great. Good, good. It's good been a bit of a break since our last game. It One has week session break, I think. Mm -hmm. Just a week. It's okay. Feels like more than a week. It definitely feels like two. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Long weeks. So One does anyone long time. remember, apparently I'm bleeding, uh, where we left off? Um, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Nick. Uh, Okay, okay. So we started off surrounded by the White Prince's men outside of this uh, rock where we just dug up the, the chest that we were looking for. We uh, were thinking about fighting, but realized we faced uh, insurmountable odds against a group of, you know, five, maybe even ten more guards. Um, so we fled a tactical retreat and headed into the city or the town, Port Ferris, on the uh, east side of the island, where we sort of snuck in and made sure that there weren't too many guards lying around. There were guards, but they were dressed differently than the guards that were chasing us. So we figured they were probably like town guards. It was fine. So we uh, took the chest, which we couldn't open, to a blacksmith there who opened it for us. Inside was just um, some more notes, right? Was there anything else in there, Nilra? It's just more uh, papers leading to another stash. Leading to a stash. There were supposed to be some revealed spell scrolls or whatever, but they mm -hmm. were... They've been lost to time. Yeah. yeah. So Nilram assured us that the real chest we were looking for, the second chest, the real chest, was buried somewhere on the island, and he knew how to find it. And he could detect it within like five miles. So cursory trot to a few key locations that he'd worked out ahead of time to make the most efficient journey possible. Wouldn't take us very long to find it. So we headed off around the island, checking and checking and checking, finding no chest, no chest, no chest. Eventually, the guards start chasing us again. And we get into a pretty rough spot where <clears throat> their camp is on one side and they're on the other side. So our uh, faithful leader, John, snuck us through the camp. We escaped the guards, headed round fully completing a 360 of the island now, only to find the place in the exact last spot that we could have looked. We found it, we dug it up, got the spell to find the secret location. Turns out, Nilram can't learn the spell yet. So we did all of that, we found what we needed, but we can't find the secret lair until he levels up to learn the spell, so we headed back to town, where we mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> needed some money. So Nilram offered me his uh, family ring to sell. In exchange my for mother's funds. wedding ring now my Smith's family. wedding ring it's sorry yeah. um and i found a noble lady to sell it to who invited me around to her house and i told her of our predicament and uh i didn't mention it but we beat up a kid and robbed him earlier in the episode it turns out the kid that we beat up was actually the son of the uh the local ruling noble family and she actually is not a fan of them and was quite happy at our endeavors and so invited us to stay so i headed back and collected my crew and we find ourselves feasting at the um, request of Lady Nightingale in town, living a life of luxury. I assume she's going to want something from us, but I'm not sure what it is. Just think for now, we're just enjoying the food and the drink. And pretty much, I think that's where we left off. Yes, it is. Perfect. So you guys were going to rest at her place for some time to recoup HP, spells, all that jazz, because you were a little weak and weary. Uh, and sure enough, Lady Nightingale oh. has a task for you. But yes, Mr. how does Moon. it work with my new spells? So I'm not 100% clear on mm -hmm. how I got them. Uh, so I get armor and fist of stone upon leveling up. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need some just... time. These are sorts of like, when you level, um, mm -hmm. you part of leveling is like a clarity of understanding new things. So new spells have come to your mind. You still need to write them down in your spell book, which you have with yeah. you. Um, writing the spells in the spell book takes, it's I think it's a matter of like hours or something. Uh, and sure. you would need the read write magic spell to do so. So pretty much you're just gonna need like a day or two to like sit down and write these things, which is what you can do during your downtime and resting and healing. 
they, and then how kill. do they like they just come to me like it was just a clarity like oh this is how it works yeah like as, okay. like when a fighter levels up they get better with their weapons and that might be yeah. in a like an insight of oh i can faint in this way or i can you know smack my opponent's blade to the side which creates an opening which allows me yeah you know there's like little bits of insight and for you that's like this spell that i've been thinking about protecting myself i think i've figured it out and now you can like okay. write it down and learn it that makes sense mm -hmm. Do I need to roll how long it takes me to learn these spells then? Uh, no, because you you learn them upon leveling. It's just a matter of writing them down, which is uh, 1d6 uh, pages each, and then that would take 1d6 rounds each, or 1d6... Um, no, because it's you, you can write two pages per level, I think. So if you've got like two or three days, which I think we have yeah. because you're healing, then do. you'll be fine. Do I need to keep track of how many pages my spellbook has, or is this just eventually like, kind of we will? Um, for, in okay. the short term, it probably doesn't matter, but your spellbook has a hundred pages. So once you get to like twenty spells, we should probably start to keeping a close look on that. Okay, um, cool. So we can do it now and follow along, or we can wait till we get twenty and then figure out where you're at, um, whichever you prefer. So each spell costs a page. One d six pages. Okay, so I have six spells right now. So mm -hmm. I have Enlarge, Read Magic, Detect Magic, Magic Missile, Armor, and Fist of Stone. So I should roll 66? Yes. Okay. And as a oh, follow that's the wrong one. That's not quite right. Can he, like, can he, like, learn to condense how many pages his spells take? No. So I have 20 pages used, so we have 80 left. Right. Cool. Um, also, Neil, I think you need to move the cameras around for the overlay. Yeah. Are you... Oh my god, they all got shifty. They were fine earlier. Um, we'll put um. you here. We'll put you here. You are Pokemon challenges. Your greens are your potato. Thank you very much, Nick. No worries. I think that in the past, you've said that when you're sufficiently high level, you could maybe try and rewrite some of your spells that you've casted a lot and maybe have some advantage on writing them in less space if you were trying to compact a traveling book or something like that. And it's not for now, but that is something that we can we've readdress about in the these past. things when they become problems. And it might take some adventuring or it might just take some clever role play or something. But if these are problems in the mid game or late game, we can absolutely play with the rules and do some fun yeah. stuff. So Lady Nightingale does have a plan for you. Um, and she will wait a couple of days until you're all a little bit more healthy and a little bit more ready before she tells you all your plan. So why don't we let two nights pass? So these two nights now, are we kind of living like nobility here or are we after the initial night of food? Are we kind of like in the servants quarters or whatever? You are treated as honored guests in the house. So you each have nice. your own quarters. Um, you are not provided. You are provided with, you know, one set of clothes if you needed it. Some of you are missing shirts or pants or shoes, and those can be added to your repertoire. Um, but you're not like, you know, taken out to balls or hosted at mighty feasts. It's sort of just day to day progress. Um, in these first two days, what are you guys up to? Are you leaving the house and going about the town, or are you keeping a low profile and just trying to recoup your strength? I think we were, at least Nilrim was so exhausted from the past three days where we were literally traversing the entire fucking island mm -hmm. uh, that he's going to stay inside and recoup his strength. That's, what about the rest of you? Um, pretty much the same for Archie, yeah. Unless um, John needs him to go on any, uh, run any errands or anything. Yeah, well, for the first day, I think we probably could rest. But I was thinking maybe on the second day, I might head down to a tavern on the dock or something, just see see what's going on. I think John would get cold feet sitting around all day. Okay. And uh, Sale mostly spending his time resting. He's a pretty big wound on his leg. He's trying to make sure that that's looked after. And uh, he also spends a lot of time talking to the people of the house, trying to figure out, okay, what's the political situation in town? Well, who are the big families? What are the players? Uh, mm -hmm. What are the feuds and stuff? Uh, well, it seems there are, in addition to a smattering of 
minor nobles, there are two major noble families on this island that are of importance. One is the Chroma family. They are in charge of the island. They're, they're the barons, baronesses of the island. Um, it's under their legislative control. They have more or less supreme authority here. The other big family is the Nightingale family, and they are important because they operate the rich mines that are right on the edge of town. Um, iron so mines? Yeah, they contain iron mostly. Um, there are a few other things nice. that they pull out, but iron is the, the go-to here. Uh, and the other and, things are? Ah. You know, you, they pull out a, like, a little bit of limestone as well as okay. needed, but that's not needed in huge quantities. I didn't know if we were they talking like mithril or something. Like no, that. no, 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 no. Iron is like the major thing. They, there might be trace elements of copper here and there, some limestone here. Maybe you can pull out like a little bit of random ores that get found or some gems that you stumble upon. There seems to be a, a rich variety of um, resources to be found in these mountains as the people drill deeper and deeper and deeper below the water level. Um, you'll also find that there are problems with these mines because they do go below sea level. And so occasionally they'll reach a place where, you know, water will start to flood and they'll need to either pump it out or change the direction of the mines, yada, yada, yada. Uh, these two families don't necessarily get along, unsurprisingly. The Chroma family has been in charge for generations. And Lady Nightingale has very few kind words to say about the Chroma family, which is why she has this quest for you. Um, but before we get there, did it, were there any other questions or bits of information you needed? Yeah, can I inquire? Um, <clears throat> what is like the reason that you dislike the family, Lady Nightingale? Is it some past history? Is it just that they have more power than you? Um, was there bad blood like centuries ago? I'm curious. <sighs> Lady Chroma has no sense. The woman is more than happy to acquiesce to every single one of the White Prince's demands, regardless of the legal standing that they have. The White Prince's men that have been roaming across the island, searching people's houses, walking into towns, villages, uh, asking about, are not necessarily allowed to do these activities. Uh, during the founding of the Empire, a situation was worked out. The White Prince and the Empire have control of the ports and of the seas. Each land mass, however, each island belongs to its owner. In this case, uh, Floatsome Island is under the control of the Chroma family. The White Prince cannot send their his men off out of the port to go search people's homes, houses, or the island, or start digging in our backyards without permission from the Chroma family. And Lady Chroma is all too happy to let the White Prince do whatever he wants. But this is our land. This is our place. There's no reason to let the White Prince tromp through our backyards other than to suckle at his teat and try to earn his favor. <laughs> Lady Chroma is very Probably short Probably only earning the favor of... <laughs> random military generals. I doubt that the White Prince has any idea who she is. She has a doormat and she is making all of Port Ferris and Floatsam Island a doormat with her. And this is where you four come in. I would like to teach Lady Chroma a valuable lesson in federal authorities. As you... Well, I don't know if you know this, but each of the magical items owned by the White Prince and his troops are magically enchanted with a beacon so that they can be found anywhere you go. It's pointless to try and steal magic items from the White Prince or any of his subordinates because they're all trackable. And every year there is a I don't know what the proper word for it is, but there is a, a three month period during the winter where all of the clerics and all of the wizards are called back to the capital and engage in this long string of nonsense. 
A uh, part of which is having everyone practice with all of the different magical signatures or beacons. I'm not sure about the fine details, but they all go back to the capital once a year for three months and they all study each other's beacons and their magical items so that anyone who needs can find any item should they get lost. Well, my prince is very, very jealous of these items and guards them very carefully. I would like the four of you to pick up one of these magical items or something that the White Prince's men desire and track and hide it somewhere in Lady Chroma's house. As she has already given the White Prince authority to go wherever he wants in the town, uh, this will inevitably draw the White Prince's men into Lady Chroma's house to search it top to bottom. And when they find a stolen trackable item in Lady Chroma's house, they will of course need to question her. And since the White Prince and his men have zone of truth spells and other ways of divining the truth, they will inevitably discover that she did not steal it. However, in the interim, she might be taken off the island for further questioning. She might be brought all the way back to the capital for Inquisition, or at the very least, she will have her entire house tossed by the White Prince's men, teaching her a valuable lesson about not being a doormat to this emperor of ours. Mm. Now, that might seem petty to you people who are not from around here, but it's time to teach this woman a lesson. And if she can come to our way of thinking, I think we'll all get along quite handsomely here. But don't worry, there's something in this for you as well. While the lady's house is being searched for whatever it is that you can find, that should distract most of the White Prince's men and guards. Um, and I can help you find their salary chest. You see, most of these clipper ships only head back to the mainland, the center islands, once a year or so during that winter rotation. And in the meantime, their troops must be paid. So they set off from their gathering in the spring uh, with ships laden with silver in order to pay all of their soldiers, their rowers, their priests, their clerics, etc. So, if they I'll are all distracted... Face. What, is his, uh, what is his face at the hearing of like these salary chests? Yeah, well, at first he wasn't sure if it was the camp on the island, but you're talking about a whole ship full of silver to pay to pay all the well, soldiers, Well, it's right? not a whole ship full of silver, but it has enough silver to pay its crew for a year, as well mm. as operational expenses. <clears throat> so, you're Ballpark, suggesting... Ballpark, how much do you think silver that is? She shrugs. 100,000? She shrugs again. I mean, how much of silver is it to pay a man for a year? We saw at least, what, 50, 60 soldiers? It's a lot of silver. I'm on board to get that chest. I just don't know how much soldiers get paid. Um, it's probably not that much. She right will gold, yeah. ask one of her you know, nearby servants what the going rate for a um, like a, a low a general soldier is. And let me just look it up right here. No. I mean, he, I'm sure he pays his, uh, his clerics very well, though. And they'll be getting paid from the same chest. Uh, it appears your average guard here within the White Prince's employ makes about three silver a day. The oh, priests, shit. clerics, and wizards. She shrugs. No one knows. Okay, well, that seems like a lot of silver. But, um,. Let me get this straight, though. You want us to steal one of the White Prince's magical items. The only one of them that's going to be on this island is probably held by that cleric that's been chasing us around for the last week. Is that what you had in mind? There are a few other such things. The Harbor Master has a helm of... Is it true seeing or wizard sight? He has a magical helm that allows him to see all the auras of um, 
potential spellcasters and all magical items, as well as an anti-magic shield that, with a something foot aura carried by their squire. These might be too difficult to steal. The person who has them is an exquisite fighter um, and might be too difficult to take from. The cleric or the wizard may have something that falls into the category of what we need. Um, but yes, yes, you'll probably be stealing from the cleric, the wizard, or the harbor master. How tough is this harbor master? I mean, that cleric's got around 50 men with him. Well... She sits in silence for a moment. Um, while the DM looks up his notes on what these people would know about the Harbor Master. I don't suppose it matters what the item is if we've just got to place it in. It certainly does not mansion. matter what the item is, no. Seems like the best route would be something small, like a ring. Yeah, um, would be easier. Depends what magic items the cleric's got, though. We don't know. Uh, the Inquisitor <clears throat> at the port. Yes. The, the Harbor Master slash Inquisitor um, wears a wizard-sighted great helm. You'll see when they wear it that the inside of the helm shines with a bluish light illuminating their face. Uh, they, cool. will, uh, they will search cargo scan passengers, make sure everyone is on the up and up. Um, they are at least 7th level. 6th to 7th level. Mm. Archie's feeling a little bit reminded of the last time that a woman who fed him tried yeah. to... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Try right. to get him into a plan where he steals something for her. So he's a little bit reserved in all this. He's kind of taking a bad seat, back seat, but he's not feeling too great about this mission. Um, mm -hmm. He's just kind of watching John and his reactions right now. Mm -hmm. So, Lady Nightingale. Are you sold on this plan? Is there not something else that we could maybe figure out um, of the same vein? Yeah, I'm it all It seems ears. a little hard to steal a magical item due to the fact that Either we're going to have to go against a very strong man, um, and these magical items are known. It just Did you not already steal a magical item from the White Prince's men? I thought there correct. was... We did, but what would her motive be? She doesn't have motive. Because of course she not. Because she should be smart enough to know what would happen. So well, it's just going to create suspicion around, I think, you, my lady. She shrugs. I... We'll make sure that I have plenty of alibis. I'm not too concerned about my own involvement in this, as long as the four of you don't finger me in some way. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> well, okay. Let's say all things go according to plan. We get mm -hmm. one of these items. Mm -hmm. We plant it in Chroma's mansion. Mm -hmm. You kind of glossed over the part where we hijack one of the White Prince's ships and steal all of its silver. How exactly does that part work? Well, I don't think you would be hijacking a ship. Uh, when this so item is stolen, uh, inevitably there will be a search for it. I'm not sure how the magical procedures for finding such things work, but it may take them some time. They may have to, um, they will be distracted. Maybe the ship can't be accessed. Maybe that is too well guarded, but... Uh, any sort of encampment that their people have, any sort of um, place they are stationed would be at lower guard after said thing is missing. Ships can be boarded. I assume the four of you are capable of that. Yeah. Things stolen. I thought this was a great plan. You seem... It's a good, it's a good plan, but all the risk lies with us. Why don't We'll do the part does. with the magic item, and then you pay us the silver from your own money, and then if it's so easy to rob this ship, you can go and do that with your own men, and I get we get paid for a job well done. That seems fairer to me, no? Well, I thought payment for most of this was me taking you in, providing you food, shelter, clothing, and refuge from the people seeking you. Don't get me wrong, it's been very comfortable. But two days, night and board. Doesn't 
But is it just going to be two days, <clears throat> Captain Winters? I don't know. Are we, how, how welcome are we here? How welcome are you? Good question. How welcome would you like to be? Very I can welcome. be a useful ally to you and you to me. The wealth, uh, the silver from the ship was thought an enticing reward for you, but if you fear that it's too difficult, it certainly needs not be undertaken. It's not had all the details. Cherry yet. on the top. Let us <coughs> discuss our plan. Um, of course. We have a lot to think about. Of course. Um, if I, I need think anything. it seems it seems very risky for what amounts to be essentially a prank. We're, you know, pushing our friend over in the dirt politically yeah um, but i don't i don't know what this achieves for you and it seems like a lot of risk ah for me uh, hopefully it just gets lady chroma to second guess herself the next time she wants to let the white prince come and search the entire island without any real reason uh there are ways around this the white prince if he issues an edict may of course uh, come onto our lands but such an edict requires actual passage from the Central Islands all the way out here. It takes months. It's a pain in the ass. It's uh, not often done. He prefers to get the permission of locals to enter because the bureaucracy is otherwise painful. This might keep her, this sort of incursion into Lady Chroma's house or possible um, you know, having to go to the Midlands or the Central Islands. Hopefully we'll get her to not acquiesce to his every demand. Hopefully, um, creates an animosity between her and the White Prince. She will certainly be found innocent, um, and it hopefully won't change too much other than her perspectives on the Empire. Can I, uh, can I confer with my crew for a moment? Of course. I step away from Lady Nightgirl, <clears throat> and I say, okay, well, it does seem pretty risky, but as far as I'm concerned, this cleric that's been chasing us around for this past week, he's got it coming big time. And if it's an excuse to go there and fuck him up a little bit, kill some of his guys, steal all his shit, I'm inclined to go along with it just for that reason. Also, when we go to Lady Chroma's mansion and plant this whatever it ends up being, I'm sure uh, Lady Nightingale here wouldn't mind if we helped ourselves to some of the silverware, so to speak. Maybe we could end up getting paid a few times for this. That's true. Um, I, I, I feel like this plan is kind of small. I don't know. Um... I, it, it makes me uncomfortable. I feel like I'm kind of being set up here. I was um, fully expecting her to be like, oh, I'm, we're, we're going to take out her rival so she can take over politically on the island. But it seems she basically wants us to pull a prank at, at massive risk to ourselves. I don't think it's that simple for island politics, sadly. If we take her out, her son, her daughter becomes Baroness. It doesn't uh, transfer over super quickly. You can't just kill your rivals away easily. Um, I think her plan is okay. It's a little... I like where her idea is. I just think getting a magical item off of these people and then putting it in her house, it's going to create some suspicion. Uh, not even around us, just as to like... Yeah, well, her. I mean, that's her problem though, right? True. Doesn't matter to Maybe us. instead we plant it on a... Uh, on one of her servants. That's oh, I like cool. that. That won't affect her, though, will it, Lady Chroma? If one of our servants she probably is still won't enjoy uh, the people running and rummaging through her homes, even if it was a servant who stole it. We could always plant it uh, <clears throat> here in this house instead. <laughs> no, I well. thought about that, but uh, I thought about <clears throat> turning on this lady and going over to the other Chroma lady, but. We were the ones who maimed her son, so I don't think that she would take too kindly to that. Plus, if she's a big fan An of the White Prince, point. she's yeah. not going to be too big fans of us. That's correct. Two excellent yeah. points. I retract my suggestion. So we go. We fuck this cleric up. How do we do that? I don't trust her, but I'll go with what you say, Captain. You don't trust her? Probably can't trust either her nor this Lady Chroma. I really can't. I have to... Uh get the door out of but um, i don't think she's trying to screw us over um if she was no. she would have turned us in already that's it's true probably and just a game yeah. for her 
So I think that the best course of action would be going after the cleric. Even if, um, even if for some reason we feel like we can't trust her once the deed is done, we've still yeah. got whatever gold and whatever item this cleric had on him anyway. Plus, it's one less person looking for us. And I don't like the idea that this guy dragged us off the beach and made us his prisoner, even if it only was for a very short moment. Yeah, true. And if we are stuck on these islands for some time, it might be good to have an island where we have a friend. Um, I agree. Is there a remove beacon spell yet, Koibo? No. Um, okay. That would be a great you thing. Could that would be something that. that gets researched, yeah. Yeah. Eventually. Okay. Um, so it seems like the plan is we're just going to fight the cleric guy. Do you want to fight him in a straight-up fight? Or should we do some thievery? No, I think this guy needs some um, violent justice. I don't think we should just steal from him, but I don't like the idea of charging headlong into his camp and fighting all of his men at once, either. Yeah, I mean, he's surrounded by a lot of guards. He, I can't imagine that a cleric of a stair is a pushover, either. What if um, he's looking for us, right? He wants that wand. Or he wants whatever we've been looking for. What, what if we, we arrange some better? sort of meeting? Instead of the magic item, they're looking for four people who are stowed away on this island. What if somehow we got in the good graces with Lady Chroma and she let us stay there? And instead, <clears throat> Lady Nightingale somehow snitched that we were there. Maybe they could find some of our belongings inside the house. Um, maybe even your hat. Mm. I looked at Captain Winners. And then they would surely toss the entire place looking for us. Yeah, but... They wouldn't the spec Lady Nightingale. Um, they wouldn't spec Lady Nightingale because she would be the one to turn them on to it. What other, identifiable, what other identifying items did we have on us uh, when they found us? Anything? Rags, I say, looking across the party. Did we just have rags? We just had Not rags. Much. My spellbook, your hat... Hmm. What if we <clears throat> got a message to this cleric, told him we wanted to meet, we would give him the wand, we'd show him the things we'd found, and then we ambush him? Do I still have I... the remains of that wand, Koibu? No, you snapped, snapped, snapped him and left him in the jungle. But I would know where it was, because I left it pretty close to where... Yeah, where you might be able to box. backtrack and find it. Possible. Kay. Hear me out. The beacon spell is obviously ruined, but I think instead yeah. of stealing from the cleric, I think the best thing that we could do, we could go back, get that old wand, we could plant it inside of her house, um, we could get Lady Nightingale to have a conversation with the local authorities that she saw four men dressed like us, um, she can give an exact description because she knows of us, to, they would have probable cause to go and search her house, they would find the broken wand, and she would be in huge Sorry about trouble. That, hmm. We have to be careful because, you know, that might cause a ruckus temporarily. But if, you know, an inquisition gets started here, people start asking questions forcefully using magic. Um, maybe it turns on Lady Nightingale and she gets taken in and questioned. I was in the tavern when I met Nightingale. I'm sure whoever she was playing cards with could identify me, say that I went off with her. True. It's you don't more really for Lady Nightingale to worry about, isn't it? It's the plan. I don't know about you, but I feel like this cleric really has it coming. I, this guy's going to... I mean, we're stuck on this island for a while anyway until we get a ship. This guy's not going to leave until he finds us. We're going to deal with him eventually. Sure. Why not kill two birds with one stone? How about we mix... How about we do like a mix of the plans then? Um, this would get the cleric inside the capital in Port Ferris. You agree with that? Yeah. We after could arrange they... a meeting in the... Yeah, we could arrange to meet them here anyway. But yeah, I agree this would be a good place. So after they fix, figure it all out, they go and sack her house or home. He's going to have to go back to the camp with a small guard, probably. We could ambush mm -hmm. him then on the way back. That is my guess. It's a lot of what-ifs. It's the easiest way for us to get the cleric, I think, up here. It's a little... It's probably way more sketchy to say that... Uh... Hey, we're gonna turn ourselves in. Do you want to meet with us? You Something think? Like that. 
I think so. We could say, <clears throat> we could say something like, we found what was in that chest. We don't know how to use it. If you agree to leave us alone, we'll give it to you. But then he's going to come with 100 guards. You think? I would assume. That's what I would do. Maybe we could cause a simultaneous distraction that would make him split his forces. Well, if you think he's going to bring all of his guards to the meeting, what if we didn't go to the meeting and instead we went to his camp? <laughs> oh, that's good. I like that. I could work with that. I don't think he's going to bring all of his guards, but I think he will bring a majority of them to the meeting. Correct? I don't think he would, though. If it's inside a house in the city, I can't see him coming with 30 men. Well, we have two options. We can either go with her... Well, we have a lot of options. We can either go with her plan. Uh, do you think her plan is 100% wise? Like, we go and just try to fuck the cleric guy up? Well, I'm not sure about what impact her scheme is going to have, but in terms of how it benefits us, I don't think it really matters whether her plan works for her or not. If we get to kill the cleric, steal his stuff, steal his gold, and then rob Chroma's house at the same time, seems like that works for me. Okay. Question is, how do we fight them, though? I think the biggest issue is going to be getting to Chroma's house. Wow. I think oh, that is going to be easy. nay impossible. That is easy, because I didn't mention it, but uh, I picked this up off uh, young Chroma's pockets when we uh, knocked him out, and I pull out the fancy key that I stole from her son after we beat him up. I think this should help just fine. Well, having a key is way easier than my plan That's of getting the ticket Nightingale to throw a ball. Yeah. I think um, if we sneak in under the cover of darkness, then we can take what we like. We use this key, we don't have to break any windows. Get in, get out, easy enough. That is our key in. Um, how would we even get a message to the cleric if we wanted to just meet him? Get a kid to go to the camp. A kid? Yeah. How do we know that that's what the key is for? Probably for his that. house, right? What else would it be for? Maybe he had a secret shed somewhere in the uh, in the jungle that he was going yeah. to. Maybe. I look at the key nail. Does it look like a house key? Very easily. Yeah. Could be a key to something, something else, but you know, it's you look at it and it could very easily be someone's house key. But like, I I, 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 don't, know, I don't know if I'm full of shit, but I imagine that like a key for a house might be bigger than like a key for a chest. The Probably be, not, like because the locking mechanism the might be lock. the same, you know? They don't have really Yeah, it's a fines. skeleton key, so they're similar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, I think that the way to get the lady most in trouble would be to put the broken magic item inside her home. Do you agree or do you disagree? Well, I don't know if that... I mean, I don't know how beacon spells work, but... That beacon's different to one of these beacons, right? They'll know that that's what it is. Uh, can you explain? Well, like, they'll they'll know it's not one of their magic items. They'll know that it's this wand that they've been looking for, and that is their magic item. That is their wand of um. Is it? Doesn't it not belong to? Uh, Liam so that's or a... No, no, no. That's a wand of um. Uh, detection from magic, which. Mm -hmm. I, aka Nilrum, thinks that it's from the White Prince. It had a beacon spell on it, and the beacon spell, if I recall, did not match um, the one that was on the rock. Correct. Mm. Completely different. So, in okay. my opinion, this is a White Prince's item that they brought to find Liam and Ship. But is, uh, does the spell still work since you broke the wand? No, but what we would do is it's obviously a very distinguishable um, wand, as seen by them knowing it wasn't a wand of fire fireball or whatever. Um, they knew it by looking at it. So we would just plant it in her house. We would say that she was seen with four people going inside her home. They would probably go check it out because they know it's us and find the broken wand. And then she would be in the... I mean, what, she if, uh, what if she finds broken. it and hides it before they find it? Um, couldn't we just hide it in the house to where she probably wouldn't find it? Well, if she won't find it, then how will they find it? Because she's not going to be turning everything up and down. 
she's especially just gonna be if going we were to if we were to arrange a meeting with Lady Chroma, that might even add credence. Maybe we get seen going into the house. Maybe she does know of us and will give up small tidbits of information when she's being interrogated after the party. So I think this... She's just as likely to turn us in at that moment, I think. I don't think we should no. arrange a meeting yet. I think we just... I think this would create the best possible world for Lady Nightingale. Lady Chroma would be probably in the most amount of trouble here. And then we can figure out how to get the White Prince uh, Cleric at that point. Or we get the White Prince Cleric before. Um, I mean, you can disagree. Do you think that this is the most the most trouble that Lady Chroma could get in? I'm not really concerned about how much trouble Lady Chroma gets in. That's Nightingale's issue. I'm more concerned mm -hmm. about how we get paid. And I just feel like this Cleric... This motherfucker's not going to go away. He's still looking for us. We're going to have to deal with him one way or another. This would easily get her lady out of the house for a few weeks to where we could sack it properly and get every piece of jewelry. Um, I think her would house it? would be in disarray. Yeah. Just because she's though, gone I mean. doesn't mean her guards are gone. She's not going to leave her property unprotected. Correct. Yes. But we could probably make a reason that we're there. Uh, we could dress up as White Prince guards. We're coming back in to search for more. Um, that would mean killing some of them. Well, that wouldn't be too tough after we go and kill the cleric, would it? But sure, but now, with this plan, we've got to go way through this, back through that fucking swamp to find these pieces of this wand that you left out there. I if know exactly where it is. If we've still got to fight the White Prince's men and his cleric anyway, then why not just do that and get... Hell, we could even we could even do that, take whatever magic items he's got, then go and get the wand and plant the broken wand and keep whatever magic item the cleric has. I'm cool with that. As long as we plant the broken wand, um, I'm trying to make friends for the future, and I think that this would make a great ally. Uh, we're going above and beyond to frame Lord Lady Chroma. And I think Lady Nightingale would be very pleased. You think they want us more than they want would want somebody who stole an item from them? Uh, they want us more than they want some stolen items. Didn't you guys steal an item from them? Aren't you people who stole something from them? Yeah, it's like... I feel both. like we've killed their guard. I feel like we've killed a few of them. We've stolen their items. And I th I'd say we're pretty high on their list of... Uh... And you beat them to the treasure they were looking for. You know? Yeah. Undoubtedly, they found that spot right next to where you guys were fighting where you dug up a chest. Yeah, they probably think that that's the treasure or some shit. Mm -hmm. And if you steal a magic item, won't you then be found with it? Like, you can't keep a magic item. We'll just come find you. Depends on how brazen we want to be, but probably wouldn't work out stealing a magical item, especially if they all have beacons on them. Yeah, that's true. So we go back to the swamp, we find the wand, we break into Chroma's house, we plant the wand hidden, it, hidden somewhere. Okay, then we've got to tip off the cleric. How do we do that? Um, I'm sure Lady Nightingale can have one of her guards uh, say that they saw us meeting with her or something. Maybe we could ask her um, if she has an idea. Okay. I feel like the less connections Lady Nightingale has yeah. to this operation, the less it could go wrong for us. Because they might, if she's historically like anti-white prince, mm -hmm. they may be distrustful of an accusation against Lady Chroma coming directly from her. Sure, well, where does Lady Chroma hang out? Sure, we could find that out. If we can find that out. We can just stumble upon her, um, make it easily noticeable by the onlookers that she was meeting with us. Maybe she wouldn't realize what she's doing. She's just having a conversation with four random people. But when asked under a truth spell, "Did you meet with so and so who we're looking for?" she might accidentally fuck herself and accidentally lie, even unknowing to her. Hmm. I still think this is what's complicated. If we can plant an item, then we don't have to do anything else. They'll find it on their own. This involves some sort of deal. But if we can plant them. an item, they're going to track us the whole way, like they did before, being hours behind us at most. And do you well, really want the them talking? Well, we don't know if it's the cleric or the wizard. What I'm fearful of is, say we 
steal the ring. They're just going to follow us for four hours. It's just going to end up in her house. It just doesn't make sense it, at all, I feel like. It, yeah, would, it would look like a setup. It would just look like a setup. And then suspicions that are going to come around elsewhere. How does it work with speaking spell? Do they constantly know where the item is or do they have to cast every now and again? Uh, I don't even think you have to cast. I think it's just like a check-in is kind of what I was seeing. Or is it a detect need magic a, You need to have detect magic going um, mm -hmm. in order to see it within the range or the locate beacon spell, which is a little bit more complicated. And if they have the locate beacon spell, it's just ongoing forever? No, no, no. Then it's also you, you cast, but then the range, range is size. limited to the Huge. size of your map rather than Got within it. the one mile per spell level. So they may not. It's not like they would see us going to the house. Well, if they have a locate beacon, I believe that we are literally on a map. Uh, I'll I'll pull out a map and show you like how I think it would work. Um, we're we are this dot, and then as we move and the locate beacon is going, they will see us move. Is that correct, Koibo? That's yeah, not unreasonable. If the spell will. If they happen to have the spell cast while you are yeah. walking around with it and they're in the middle of it and they've sort of got the location, it would show you moving. Um, but that would have to, you'd have to be moving with it the, while they have the spell going. Correct, yeah. Matter of timing. Mm. Well, you guys have had a couple of plans. Probably time to pick one and run with it. I'll respect your decision here, Captain Winners. You may choose what we do. Um... <clears throat> sure. What do you think, Sale, Archie? Well, I'll be honest with you. I don't like any of the plans we've come up with. They all sound terrible and like they're destined to fail or they horribly can go wrong. But we also don't have a lot of options, so... I'll take some risk here. I'll follow your back. Or I'll follow you back. with it. I agree with Sale. I'd like to backstab her, but I don't think we can. Um, John, I'll trust your intuition on this. Mm -hmm. I do Before you think make the it... simplest plan is probably the easiest here. Before you we make a decision, complicate things. What if we did this? We go get the broken wand. We write a note from a servant, um, saying anonymously that they love the White Prince. They love a stare. They feel something in their heart has gone wrong, and justice isn't being served. And that the lady is hiding um, four fugitives and a magical item uh, was brought in. It is anonymous uh, from one of her servants. It gives them reason to go in. It's kind of plausible. And if they do go in and find the magic item, then it is what it is. We do them with their own god of justice. How about this? Remember the guy we messed up? Why don't we just kidnap him and say he heard the White Prince was coming? And he ran away with the four of us. Boom. Lady Chroma can pretend she knew nothing about it, and it's actually true, but it still puts a huge implication on her family. Uh, cool. you mean the guy we kidnapped and maimed the and crippled? almost... Yeah, and crippled? Yeah, the crippled guy. <laughs> I don't think that's going to work. It's going to be too hard for us to carry around a body and doesn't seem to do... It just looks like we kidnapped him. It just looks like we kidnapped yeah. him, yeah. How do you feel uh, I thought, well, the wishes? idea would be that the implication was that her son was working with us. But everybody knows that he's crippled, I think. By us. By, by <laughs> somebody, <it>. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they know we did it. I'm not going to lie. No room. I only just got clean. Um, you want us to go back into that swamp and dig around for this wand? I just, I You guess. don't even have to go. It won't even be digging around. It'll be quick. You know where it is? I know exactly where it is. Well... I suppose we could go and collect it. There's no harm in that. If we can find it, then at least we know we've got that part already done. If we can't find it, then it makes the decision for us. Cool. The swamp wasn't so bad. It wasn't so bad. It was bad. pretty bad. It was pretty bad after three days of circling this island. It was, yeah. It wasn't great. It wasn't great. Uh, Say, um... Can we have the blessed leather discussion? Uh, you know would be go up to Sail because you've seen him cast spells. Uh, before we set out, I'm looking to. I just had an insight, uh, and I gained a, a new spell. Yeah, and it would help us out a lot. I think. 
Uh, it's called armor. But I'm in need of some blessed leather in order to cast it. Is it possible that you contain the blessed spell from your deity? I do have the ability to bless things. And however, I have no idea how to bless leather. So I'd have to, you know, spend some time praying, talk to my god and figure that out. But if I could help you out with your new magical journey, my friend, I will. This would not only help me out, this would help us all out. Um, I will go ask Lady Chroma for some leather. If you want to go talk to your god, see if we can work this out. Yeah, I will. Um, Lady Night to go. I'll take the leather and I'll like go into a private room and I'll try to cast the blessed. I don't know how that works, but I'll try to like cast the blessed spell. I'll talk to R Rowie. I'll say like, uh, "Can you bless this leather? Is this something you could do?" Blessed spell takes verbal components, so you call the name of your deity, of your patron and you ask them to bless the leather, and sure enough, the if the spell is memorized that day, you might have to like wait a day to memorize the spell, actually. But if uh, you I have the spell memorized... Rest, so I'll just, yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you have the spell memorized, then uh, your pleading with your deity to bless the leather does so. And you can feel the magic flowing through you. You can see a little bit of light coming off of your hands as the leather is bound in sort of a, a yellowish aura which depletes after a few seconds, but it has been blessed. How many castings of blessed leather can we get from this? Um, let's see, you need a, one strip of leather. I think you can probably bless one piece of leather per casting of the spell. So um, one strip of leather for now and one casting what for if now. You, but what if you got a big piece of leather and then cut it into strips? Well, then you wouldn't need the blessed leather blessed. anymore. Uh, yeah, you fuck it up. <laughs> okay, uh, so one blessed leather today and i guess we'll go and march through the swamp and shit is that fine yeah let's talk about cool. how long you guys need to rest at the place because you are all kind of injured um, yes as we can see on our map here one of you is down four one of you is down five the other two of you are okay um, it's been two nights so far so everyone can gain two hp back did you want to wait longer in the house uh, so you're at full, or did you want to run around at less than full? We're just going to the swamp, right? Uh, mm -hmm. It's up to you guys, though. I don't care. If we two wait days, longer, we can get, we can get blessed well, more. When two days got us four HP, since we've got a uh, uh, medicine proficiency. Ooh, we do have someone with a healing proficiency. Yes, that would be four hit points. Well done. I think so. I can take care of five people. No problem. So that's the whole party. There yeah. we go. So everyone gains four HP, which puts everyone at full except for Sale, who is just down one, which is that's not a big deal. Are we able to get one oh, more casting of blessed leather then? Off of those does, two days. Does Mooten have herbalism? Uh, I do. And uh, then it's actually three health a day if we both like try to look after people. Well then, you're at full. Well done. Are we able to get one more blessed leather or no? Yeah. Cool. You can get two. Uh, I'm gonna cast armor on myself. Okay. Uh, one left. Two nights. Nice. One night. So that uh, you can get two, but you will. Um, Sail will have used a blessed spell this day that if morning. you wanted to get a second blessed other. Draft. Yeah, if he's cool with that. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll assume that I basically prepped. You know, we talked about the blessed leather the day before, mm -hmm. and so I prepped an extra blessed spell today. Great. So this gives me four AC. Yes, I believe so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I need to have a conversation with Nilram, I think. Um, so probably just in the evening, after, one of the evenings after dinner, I'll come up to your room, knock on your door and like, uh, come in, sit down on like some fancy seat that they've got in there or something. Say, so, um, so you never asked for the, you never asked how much I sold the ring for. Uh, I mean, I assume that you had to do what you had to do, you know? I had to do what I had to do. I got some money left over, though. Well, how much? I uh, reach into a reach into a bag. I've got my hand in the coins, and I, I look up here and I'm eyes a little bit and say, um, well, and I reach in. I, I, I guess I hand you a bag with, like, 500 silver in there. 
and say no. I'll wipe it away. I, no, keep it. It's for the. It's for us. You're probably better to do with money as you see fit. Uh, I'll stick to the magic, so you can hold the coin. Very well. A wise choice, Norum. I think we're going to count just fine. I pat you on the shoulder and I'll walk out. I'll and, um, pat you and throw an armor spell on you as well. Oh shit, nice. Can you armor other people? Uh, AoE one creature. Okay, yeah. So you cast two armors, one on yourself, one on Captain. Yep, I have no bless today. Okay. I have no more bless letter. But... Um, so the next day, Neil, I will go to the general store and I'll buy that rapier for 10 gold that they were selling. You have 100 silver on you? 150. I was only going to give him 50. Mm hmm. But, uh. Yeah, you can buy that rapier for 100 silver. Damn, you're going to fuck me. It's crazy. I, was... I figured you would have known when I bought the rapier. Um. Great. Anyone remember how much those breast knuckles were? I think they were 50 silver a piece or something. Mm, I thought it was way more. that up for you. Brass knuckles were was 40 silver a hand. Oh, it's not that bad. We can afford that if you want them. Like, we've got enough to buy everyone gear here, so if we want to gear up, like get our baseline weapons and... It's probably best to gear up right now and just... Yeah, I want to I I get some brass knuckles. It sounds like mm -hmm. fuck. Okay, so you want two sets of brass knuckles, right? So that's 80 silver? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, Sale, do you need anything? Uh, I'm just missing a rapier. That's all I need. Do they have a second rapier, Neil, or not? Wait, don't you have a spear proficiency anyways? I do. Um, Sounds like you don't need a rapier. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got a spear. I'll, yeah, I'll use a spear for now, but, you know, rapier well, is a... my preferred weapon. You can use a spear or a rapier, but there is a difference. When someone walks around in town with a spear, it's very obvious because you're carrying it. Like to carry it, mm. you have to sort of carry it up high where everyone can see it. A rapier mm -hmm. can sit at your side, and it's easy to notice a rapier, but like it's also easy to just see ahead. Whereas if you see someone walking around with a spear, everyone's going to be like, Woof, "Why does that person have a weapon out? They're not a guard." It's um, a lot more suspicious to be openly carrying a weapon that's drawn. Um, how many more days wow. are we gonna stay here then? Are we just gonna wait until the brass knuckles are done? They just have we're doing right that. Here. I would like a fuckload of uh, blessed leather. Yeah, well we can um, because I technically need uh, a parrying dagger, and if we need another rapier, we could go to one of the blacksmiths and have them make it right. Like the iron mines are right here, so we could get mm -hmm. our weapons made. It would take a few days probably, but if yeah. we're just gonna be searching the swamp anyway, we could do this first, or we could even wait. Yeah, just get them to make it and we'll go search the swamp as they're making it. Yeah, so if I want to get a parrying dagger, a rapier, and one more normal dagger made, how long is that going to take, Neil? Um, another rapier can be bought at okay. the same price. Okay. So I get sale another rapier for 100 silver. I'm sorry, no, no, Thank no. You. Uh, you got the, the cheap rapier, right? The old dirty one. Sorry, a new no, rapier. No, no, it was, a fa it was a fancy one. It was 10 gold. That was a, that's why I didn't buy it originally because it was like they only had some like fancy rapier in the shop. Really? Or is a normal okay. one ten gold? I thought my the rapiers were twenty gold brand new. Oh okay. And that the. I think... Go ahead. I I think I think if you remember the role play, you were basically like Neil was like, hey, do you have like a cheap rapier that I buy? And the blacksmith was like indignant, and he said, I only make the finest ones. It's a hundred silver. It was, I think that was the conversation. He bought this at the general store. Yeah, no, and then there was the, 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 the guy at the general blacksmith store. Said, no, you're right, though. We yeah. did have that conversation with the blacksmith. It seemed like the blacksmith, if you wanted him to make one, it would be very expensive. Yeah, I think yeah. you would talk to a woman at a general store, and you were looking for a used secondhand rapier that you could get more yeah. cheaply, and that was available. But it was for still 100. like a nice rapier. Yeah, is what she was making it sound like. Yeah. Yeah, and that's what was ten gold. Um, a any other rapier that you would want to buy would be a full price rapier at twenty gold. Okay, so I'll buy one at twenty, and I'll, I'm giving the ten gold one to sale. So I'll have okay. the fancy rapier. I'm writing fancy rapier. Excellent. I'm losing another hundred silver. A look whose <laughs> weapons never getting blessed. <laughs> the fancy rapier should be uh, two hundred silver. Yeah. Twenty gold. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, and then. What about parrying dagger and another normal dagger? Do they have that on hand? Uh, another normal dagger you can just pick up for 20 silver. Easy peasy. 
a parrying dagger. And make a roll to see if they have any on hand. Otherwise, you'll have to have it custom made. They do have one in hand. FX. Not a likely roll. How much? Uh, do, 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 do. Give me iron dust. Okay. It's, yeah. I'm sorry, it's 30 oh, silver like for a normal dagger. Um, it's 40 silver for a parrying dagger. Okay. Since I'm buying all this stuff off the blacksmith, um, I ask him if... Um, how do, would you even approach this, though? So you want a bag of iron dust? But for what? Why would I, why would someone want that though? Because you have a wizard. Kill slugs. Not meant card. to have. Not meant to have wizards, though, are we? He's not. A, he's a blacksmith. What the fuck does he care? Okay, so I guess Neil, I'm coming. I'm saying, you know, I need a rapier, parrying dagger, and a dagger. And the guy's like, oh, you know, we've actually got all of these in stock right now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So then I take. I hand him the silver over. So it's like, it's like what here? We're, we're talking like 400 silver. No, 300 silver, more or less. Mm-hmm. I say, um, say, I don't suppose you've got any spare uh, iron dust lying around from the from the smithy back there. Um, of course. When we file things down, it produces some flakes of iron splinters. Perfect. I could pay you in a decent amount of silver to uh, give me some of that and not ask too many questions. You've just made it so weird. It's it's already already check, weird. Nick. Yeah, it's already weird. <laughs> you it's want some iron easy. filings without me asking questions? That's it. Sure. That's all I need. Yeah. He puts Fantastic. out a hand. Uh, you got a few more in there, maybe? Maybe like a, a, a bag full? I think he's asking for Yeah, he's something. asking for money. Oh, no. he, he puts out okay. a hand, like, I don't know. I'm not asking any questions, yeah, 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 but waiting yeah, yeah. to see you put some money in it. Uh, How much do you give I him? I give him like 62 silver. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. He uh, walks over to a table. How is he, how is he going to give you the silver? He uh, finds a piece of paper. He pulls it out from a stack, puts the paperweight back on it, you know, bends the paper lightly and uh, kind of scrapes off the little brush, all these like iron filings from where they sand things, uh, where, they, where they file things down over at this area. And he goes over to like another little anvil and he puts some iron filings and they all like gather in the bottom of this paper. And then he folds it over a few times so that you've got like a little paper sack of iron filings. But a um, joint of iron. Yeah. A joint of iron, perfect. Yeah. How many basically. castings? Uh, how much, what is the spell that we're getting this for? Uh, enlarged juice. Excellent. You need a pinch of powdered iron. Uh, this will be 10 castings. Okay, keep in mind, last time when I was able to get it without anybody noticing, I was able to get two castings. You paid 62 silver for 10 castings? You got fucking robbed. Yeah, should probably be more than that. But I might, I reckon I can come back and get more. Yeah, but it's not yeah, like they probably, keep this stuff on hand, yeah. right? He's just like sweeping up whatever is available. What he's got, in the, yeah. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'll take it Hopefully off that site. silver can let you get some more in the future. Sure, thank you. I'll, I take it off and I'll say, that's great. Um, I was hoping for a bit more. Maybe if I could stop by in the future, you could collect it for me? Yeah, I can dust the iron filings and set them aside. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, buddy. All right, well, um, thanks for the weapons. Thanks for the iron. And uh, you have a good day. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. Pleasure doing Can business with you. Specific hey, track of the days that we're going to be here, because I need blessed leather yeah. for these. So well, as soon as I walk is... out of the blacksmith, mm -hmm. I uh, I unsheath the shitty rapier from my, from my belt. I put in the fancy new rapier, and I smile to myself as I walk down the road. Today is the 17th of April, um, after spending two nights at Lady Nightingale's house. How many castings of Bless can you take a day? I can do four. I did a day, I believe. There's no limit on how many times I can yep. cast a single spell. That's correct. Not. For the next two days, if we're still here, can you take four castings each day? Well, if that be, that, that's if we're doing two days and not yeah, leaving. I'm just... I'll get another rest. Yeah, I think so. Who will leave on the third? Yeah, yeah, I can do that. I can make you eight. Sure. Uh, but it's like a, it's a lot of blessed leather. I'll sure explain wanna, to like... you that it's for the party. It gives us four AC <laughs> and uh, only has to be used when it's knocked off. 
Yeah, so well, you did you announce to me that you were casting this on me? No, you have no idea. Well, I can. Yeah. How does it work? Can I just like cast? I probably can't just cast something on somebody and them not notice it, right? He's gonna see me casting a spell. Yeah. At that you point. first off, you have to touch him. You got to cast it. Yeah. It takes a full round okay. to cast. So you need to like. Okay. Well, then I would have for a minute. Like, right, well, well, yeah. Just roll back a second. So I, like, wait, are you casting it? What are you doing? Just hold on. I'm gonna give you armor spell. Armor spell. Make you a lot harder to pierce. So after you cast the spell, I say, "All right, Nilrum, show me how this works. Try and hit me." Uh, like can can if he like feigns like can you tell that somebody's got an armor spell? Is there like a some sort like of shimmering? Sheen? When a attack would be deflected by the spell, which requires it really being like a a, a real honest attack at someone, oh, okay. um, so then just the person attacking around. would probably notice that there's some odd effect going on. A, by, a bystander might notice, but probably not unless they're magically inclined or a really good fighter to notice the exact things happening. You would notice though as the person with the spell on you. As the person with the spell on you, it would either, you would probably notice unless you were fighting a really shitty attacker who you might think just made a really bad mistake. Um, but in combat, you're gonna, the, okay. the recipient well, and the attacker will little, notice. A little, little bit dubious, so I won't go around um, talking about it. I guess I wait, I'll let Nilrum convince Archie and sail on his own. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm gonna I'm gonna bless the leather for Nilrum, but I'm gonna act a bit of a drama queen about it. I'm gonna be like, ah, oh, this is <laughs> yeah, so much so... work. Ah, oh, uh, like you know, I swear you're gonna help us so much here. Chair. These eight castings will save us. On God. All right. Yeah, we'll spend two days doing that. Yeah, we'll stay two more days then. Okay, so two more nights at Lady Nightingale's house. And That'll bring you we'll... to the nineteenth. Explain um, the plan to her, kind of. I, yeah, I just so what is the plan? Not freeloading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is the final plan that you explained to her? The plan that I'm going to explain to her that we're going to try for is we're going to go to the swamp. We're going to go get the uh, broken wand that we had, and we're going to plant that in her house. That is the plan that we're going to try for. If we can't find the wand, which we should be able to, then we're just going to go fight the white, uh, the prince guy, or not the prince, uh, cleric. the cleric. Take his items and plant it in her house. You're going to we make kill the cleric. Saying that the wand we took, we stole from them, so we technically already have a magic item of theirs. You know. Oh, good. So they can follow that signature to her house. Splendid. Sort of. Yeah, sort of. Uh, and you're going to kill the cleric. We may if we can't find this item. God's willing. I smile. She furrows her brow a little bit. Um, chews her lip and ponders the ramifications of a dead cleric on this island. Nathan, an item... you seem unsure. Did you suppose we would just ask him nicely for his magic items? Oh, I thought you might take it in the night, or... She waves her hand. Uh, I didn't know the specifics. A dead cleric is bound to draw a lot more attention um, and require more questions asked than a stolen item that is easily retrieved. Still, I suppose this will only cause problems for her ladyship. I think the biggest problems for her ladyship will come when we include a note, I do in quotations, from her servant uh, saying that she was seen with four men inside of her house and when they go and trample inside, they're going to find the broken magic item. They'll find it, for sure. If they sack the house like you say that they will, it should be easily found well, by someone I expect them looking. to sack the house if they know if they can locate a magical item. A note saying that um, a noblewoman has committed some sort of crime, especially a noblewoman loyal to the White Prince. I, I don't know how much one would sack a house based on a, an anonymous tip. Yeah. Interesting. I don't okay. know. It might work very well. Probably not. I was going to pit that uh, it was a servant who, you know, loves a stare, wants mm -hmm. justice to be done, and sees that the lady is uh, doing something unjust by stealing from the White Prince himself. Maybe the flourishment will 
I'm sure the four of you are clever enough point. to find a phrasing or um, include some tidbit or something that would uh, draw their attention. I'm sure Do you have any the right letter. Maybe some sort of physical evidence that could be provided with the letter that would make it um, more than just an anonymous tip. Half of the wand. Hmm, okay. Yeah, that might work. Oh, we've got to find the dumb thing first, anyway. We'll, we'll, we'll be tomorrow. leaving. We'll be leaving in the morning, Lady Nightingale. I assume we're still okay to return once the sun sets. Can we have a key if we need to get in? <laughs> no, I'm My servants not will trolling. let you in. It's probably wise. I wouldn't I want you to have any think. keys to my house on your person should you get caught. Uh, and I think it goes without saying that should you get caught, I will disavow any knowledge of you, and I expect you to do the same of me. That's an interesting thing that you just pointed out there, because I happen to have a key to, I assume, Lady Chroma's house right here. And I pull out. You're saying that if they, the guards found me with this, well, well, it would have the well. same effect? That is an interesting catch you have there. A I didn't even take it. House. It was just in the pocket. I say putting it back into the front pocket of the shirt that I stole. That would make breaking into a house, house quite a bit easier, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Not that any would, lock stop John Winters. Would they maybe have noticed that the key is missing, though, and changed the lock since then? Because it's been a while since we, you know left that guy to die in the jungle, he probably noticed that his house key was gone. Wow. It's possible, but really locks do thing. take quite some time to make. Uh, that key might be useful for another month or so, but after that, okay. it is conceivable it would be um, no longer useful. All right. That was smart, though, Archie. We'll be off in the morning. Thanks, Captain. Excellent. Yeah. Uh, so I should have eight blessed leather castings. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and convince Archie and Sale to let me cast uh, armor on them. Uh, Are they cool with um, it? No. Um, <clears throat> Archie will ask John what he th thinks of that. Well, he already cast it on me. Magic man. He already cast it on me, and I've felt fine. I haven't been in a fight. Can't tell you if the spell actually works, but it's not. I made my dick fall off or anything like that, Archie. Archie will kind of slap... Uh, uh, John into his stomach with like the back of his palm a little bit, see if he like reacts any differently than he usually would. Same as always. <laughs> hmm. I mean, you don't seem weaker than usual, so I guess it'll be fine. Do your thing, magic man. Uh, all right, I will then cast armor on him. <clears throat> so this will give you four to AC if you don't have any armor on. Mm -hmm. Do I put this in my character sheet? Yeah. Yeah. If you go to the item. Under the weapons, you can click add and then just type in like armor spell and then put four in the under, magic box. Under the, the armor mark. and AC type. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Got it. Add and then I do. Yeah, just uh, give it a name so you know what it is. Four, four from spell, magic. Yeah. And then four. And then click the check mark for equipped, which, by the way, Neil is spot wrong. <laughs> oh my. Thank you. Four in armor, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, four in magic. No, no, four in magic. In magic. Four in magic. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. And the uh, do I have my brass knuckles now? Uh, yeah. Uh, did you have them made? Yeah. It would take two days to have them made. Yeah. So. How do I add those? And what are these? Do they just give me damage, right? Yeah. So it's I'm just going to change your punches okay. from D threes to D fours. I think we'd said. Let me it double was, check okay. the weapon list. Actually. Am I wrong? I thought it was D sixes. I could be incredibly wrong. Uh, brass knuckles normally do D4, but you are a Pugilist, so I think you were going to do slightly higher damage. Did we just say it was D6? I thought it was D6. I, I think, think it's D6, it was D6, yeah. yeah. I think you're right. Nice. Cool. So I've just lot. changed your punch attack to a higher damage That's a die. lot of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. It's good, but it'll never... like it. As you level up more and more, it'll get... It's like really, really strong right now. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it won't like, like scale. Level. Yeah, because you can't get like a plus three. Well, maybe you can't get plus three black brass knuckles. I don't know. Getting him enchanted would be, be like specialty main. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're probably going to have to like steal an enchantment from a sword and move it over, is my guess. Um, 
Okay. So, so I think uh, we're ready to head out. You were going to uh, head out cast the on sale? next day, it sounds like. So you're going to head out on the 20th. Yeah. Um, the 19th I will is... accept the armor cast. Okay, I cast it on Night of the full moon. Oh, wait, sorry. Just before, everyone should understand with armor, how much damage is it? Moon? Is it? Uh, it's nine? 10. I, I'm, I'm keeping track of that. Okay, once you take 10 damage, per level. Yeah. once you take 10 damage, the spell is cancelled and needs to be recast, so... I'll keep track of it for everybody. Okay. Okay. Yep. Cool. So... Oh, real quick before we leave, yes. can I just have the damage and speed of a rapier? Yes. Uh, damage is d6 plus 1, and the speed is 4. Speed, speed is just for... Is that just for, like, rolling initiative? Is that what yes. that's all about? Okay. Yeah. So it's like Pokemon. Okay. That night, the last night that you're here for a while, um, so that you can wake up on the 20th with all the spells that you need and everything and head out, it is the night of the full moon, and you are awoken in the middle of the night, each of you, by one of Lady Nightingale's servants, who tells you to hurriedly follow them upstairs into the attic. What's going on? I'm sleeping here. What's the big deal? There are guards at the door, the White Prince's men. They've been searching the town for the four of you. They've come to Lady Nightingale's house. They're demanding entrance. She needs you Shit. to hide in the attic. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. I command the hall of the others rousing. If not, I'll go to that room and say, come on, lads, let's go. we got to hide. I'll go. Or she's going to immediately get up and fall. Yeah. You guys can make your way to the attic and lay low for a while. You can hear the footsteps on the floor below as the White Prince's men go room to room looking for y'all, looking for four strangers who stolen a magical item from the White Prince's men, stolen a buried treasure from the White Prince's men that are rightfully theirs, and are suspected of crippling a nobleman. Can I um, use Detect Noise to try and work out how many there are? Yes. I don't know if it'd be perception or detect noise, but... Detect noise. Perception wouldn't give you anything here. Got it. Yes. You can hear on the floor below you, there are five people. Um, five people with, like, heavy boots. Um, the servant footsteps you can sort of make out, but they get the numbers of them get lost because the servants are wearing, like, either soft slippers yeah. or no shoes at this hour. Um, but the soldiers in their heavy boots come stomping through, opening up the doors. It's hard to tell exactly where they are through the floor, but you can definitely get a count of five. Um, okay, cool. And about half an hour later, they all leave. And 20 minutes after that, a servant comes to bring you, or to come up to the attic and let you know that the men are gone, but that you should probably Everything stay in the attic for the rest of the night. Everything all right? They didn't suspect? Uh, they didn't find you. That's good enough. I don't know if they are searching every house right now or if there is some sort of tip-off, but they demanded egress or entrance, and um, Lady Chroma's had given them permission to come in. So. Lady Chroma had given them permission? Or Lady Langdale? She's the Baroness. She allows mm. them to enter the island and search everyone's house, and we have no authority but to acquiesce. Well, you say we got to stay up here for the night? Given that we're not paying for board, I assume we haven't got much say in the matter, so... Uh, it's probably safer, for unless breakfast. They, in case they come back. No, no, that's okay. We've slept in worse, in worse places in our islands. That's true. A few days ago, I woke up on a beach. Worst sleep I've ever had. Yeah, exactly. Archie's already fallen back asleep. <laughs> <laughs> the servant leaves you guys up in the attic for the rest of the night, and in the morning, you can wake eat and make your way out of the house and out of town looking for the swamp and the jungle to find the broken pieces of the wand but we'll have to do that on the other side of our break so we will see you guys in just a few minutes bye bye all right